My stage name is Westside Steve, but I've been going by Westside Steve Simmons for about, oh, decades, I guess. I'm originally from a little town in East Ohio called Carrollton, Ohio, which is where, uh, which is where I was first inspired to learn to play guitar and sing when I saw the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show. Even, even actually, if, if you're still rolling, even actually before that, when I was a wee little kid, now here's how old I am, the family would sit around the TV uh, and watch the Ozzy and Harriet show. And when Ricky, Ricky Nelson would always sing a song at the end of the show, man, nobody in the house had better say a word while Ricky Nelson was on. I really liked that, so I've never wanted to do anything else. I started playing, uh, I was reading my, one of my uh, baby books, you know, you make, I don't have any kids, but I assume that baby books are for a lot of children. So when I was three years old, I could sing all the words to Davy Crockett. Now, I don't remember it now, but uh, probably the first time I ever got money for singing and playing, I was in the eighth grade back in Carrollton, and we had a crappy little band, and, and we played at the Eagles Hall once a week. And that was, that was about that. Then it just sort of blossomed into this. The kind of music I play now is quite a bit different than what we started out playing. But when, when, I, was in the, when I was in the eighth grade, it was, you know, we did, you know, just copying the Beatles, all, all the British Invasion bands. And then when I got a little bit older, we started a band called The Rats. And that was in Norton, where I'm from now. And we did a lot of Alice Cooper, a lot of Rolling Stones. And, and a lot of other stuff. In 1976 or seven, we changed the name of the band to Easy Street and started doing some more current pop music. And we did that up until the band broke up in uh, 84, something like that. And in 84, I started doing a single act. Went up to, no, I was 88, I guess. I went up to Putin Bay. I kept the band going. We played up in Canada for a long time. And in 88, I just learned enough songs to do the single show. So, you know, you do your typical stuff for the people on the lakes. You know, Eagles, Jimmy Buffett, Bob Seger, a little country music, a little sing-along. I also do a bunch of Irish music. I can do an entire show of Irish pub songs. And my own stuff, I've got four, well, I got three solo CDs out. And I've got one of Frank Sinatra covers. I just did for fun. But my stuff is kind of folk rock with a little tiny bit of country, a little bit of uh, nautical stuff, you know, singing about the Great Lakes and all that. So, yeah, this will be my 28th year at the, uh, at the Putin Bay and uh, my 28th year here at Geneva on the Lake. So I'll be here at least once a month and I'll be out at Putin Bay uh, just about every week or so. And uh, my schedule is up on westsidesteve.com or Westside Steve Simmons uh, Facebook. So go on there and like me and you can always find out where I'm at. My favorite part of being a musician is I very ha rarely have to get up out of bed in the morning. I haven't picked up a shovel for 50 years. <laughs> it's not like a real job. And I hope nobody that, that pays me is listening to this. I would probably do it for free. It's, it's just, it's fun. It's doing something you love and people, like you get to go to a party and somebody pays you for it. i
have to be part of my, my life. Children of a children step ashore, my darling. I know this place will always be the way it's been before. I know the wheel will keep on turning. See my lovers and my friends huh?